me quickly talk about the architecture of the hoop crasher. Like initially, we had the concept of a circular device that would sit on top of the snare drum. And we tried many different combinations and many different alloys and weights. And initially, or eventually, <laughs> we uh, came to the current combination, which is a B20 alloy, and it's two hoops. Basically, it's a bottom hoop, which is a little bit heavier, that has a slight wave in the, in the edge, which makes it translate enough vibrations from the, from the snare drum to, to get excited, but not enough to, to muffle it, which is very, very important. And the top hoop is a lighter hoop, and we punched holes in it, that gives it more of like the sizzle. Now, you have the options to use just one hoop, you know, because they, these are, are kept together with a little screw that can be undone, which is really easy. You can also reverse uh, the order. If, if you prefer, you can put the top uh, hoop on the bottom and the, and the heavier on top. It sounds different. Uh, and and you don't necessarily have to keep them together. It's just like it makes it for easier handling. So I can, you know, throw it on the snare drum in, in between songs and I like, take, take it away. But it translates really well to the microphone because if you have something which is too abrasive, a microphone will not take it in well. So it has to blend work with a very, very close distance. And uh, the B20 gives it that smooth, silky quality, which is not too harsh. Right? So let me show you a couple of ideas what you can do once you separate the two hoops. So here I have the top hoop and you have the bottom hoop, which is a little bit heavier. Now, as I said, you could reverse the order, which will create a different sound. More metallic sounds. But it might be workable for you. So the other thing you can also use is one hoop. If I use the lighter one, it will create like a really more kind of like a glassy sound. Or you could use the bottom hoop only. It will give a little bit more of like a massive sound, a little bit more metal sounding. If your snare drum hoop doesn't accept the standard hoop crasher, you can get them special made at the custom shop. The information of the custom shop you can find on the Sabian homepage. And uh, you just measure the diameter of your, of your hoop, and they will make it so it will fit perfectly with your snare drum.